Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what are their true intentions in love. And uh, Capricorn, right away we have these cards here, Enlightenment and Perception. And we have this card, Lost Compass, getting back to integrity, right? And so, you know, somebody here, you or your person here, is uh, was really trying to kind of perceive things probably uh, in a way that would best suit them, like kind of like just trusting your intuition, right? Or trusting the path that you think that you were supposed to kind of walk. I just feel like, and we have this card here. I've just pulled this here. This is, they have regret. I feel like somebody here has, like, chosen the wrong path in the past. Uh, maybe they could have chosen the wrong person. Maybe they uh, made poor decisions. Uh, but we have the lost compass, getting back to integrity. It talks about... Uh, trusting your intuition and here you are doing that or your person enlightenment and perception or basically trying to do that somebody here knows that either they didn't trust their intuition in the past uh, which is probably true here and they are probably doing it now it kind of looks like that right uh, we have the truth showing up right next to the enlightenment and the perception I feel like somebody's seeing the truth here right they're seeing the truth that probably uh, they were not trusting their intuition in the past or they were not kind of uh, enlightened about their own spirituality, about really uh, maybe which way their life was supposed to go. It looks like somebody got off the beaten path here <clears throat> or off their kind of uh, natural path, right? A lot of us do this kind of stuff and then... Uh, we wake up. It does look like somebody's waking up here, right? And uh, they know the truth about their life purpose, Capricorn. We have this card here, uh, the life purpose card. Now, this could be you or your person, right? And the thunder drum card is showing up here. Somebody wants to declare something. They want to, like, beat the drum. Uh, because this used to be a ceremony, or, yeah, it was, the thunder drum, where they would... Uh, the Cherokees would like either declare something to the gods or, you know, to God or, uh, but it does definitely talks about like declaring your truth or what you have learned or maybe your feelings, something like that. But it is definitely about uh, declaring and kind of saying something, right? Uh, the star seed card is here. Uh, let's have a look at that, right? And uh, see what they have, what their version is of this card, right? Uh, this is kind of like their major arcana here. We have. Uh, soul blueprint seed expansion and gifts the right seed always the right the right seeds always bloom this is true wow just as an acorn is blueprinted to grow to a mighty oak tree you too carry the seed of the universe within you ready to spring forth yeah the word entelechi entelechi is something in, with your brain your mind right means the fullest realization of a thing. Wow. Okay. And that's what you have within you. It's like your highest self guiding you to thrive in the greater mythic story unfolding. Your star seed has been planted, or more accurately, planted here on earth for a reason. Invoke your intelechi, intelechi, intelechi. I'm not sure how intelechi could be even, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I've never seen that word, to be honest, to hear more. Mm -hmm. Invoke your, uh-huh. This talks about, like, you know, uh, expanding your gifts and your soul, but this is really kind of through your intuition, right? The word in intelechi means the fullest realization of a thing, and that's what you have within you. Mm -hmm. This is about kind of making seeds grow, right? Bloom. Uh... It, that's exactly what it's about. Uh, at the same time, kind of uh, learning to trust your gifts. Or it can also talk about somebody who is wanting to expand their life. I feel like somebody figured something out here. I feel like that you're probably the one, Capricorn. That's really how this reading looks, totally. Or you have figured out somebody else's the one. Let's see what else we have for... They're a soulmate. See, I'm just pulling these cards. I can't see them. Uh, right... And uh, this person is a soulmate, and they have regret. I feel like they have regret because they weren't enlightened. Like, they didn't know <coughs> Jack Squidly here, right? <laughs> they didn't know that they were a spiritual person. It looks like they were stuck in 
the material world or uh, the rational, which is really irrational, it really is, but uh, it's kind of stuck in this uh, kind of world here, the logical mind, uh, where there is not really, you know, where you don't really trust your gut, you just kind of trust what maybe what other people think you need for your life, just things like that. Let's see what we have for Capricorn and the Page of Wands for Capricorn. Six of nine of wands. I don't know why I say six. Uh, the full card showing up. This is what's on your mind. I, wow. And uh, the page of cups is your challenge, and you want this four of cups. Mm -hmm. And you're fearing change. You're fearing. I feel like what's on your mind is a is a is an adventure with somebody or a new path here, and you feel like maybe that's not going to work out for you. You could have realized here that somebody is maybe spiritually awakening. You could. They're, they're waking up spiritually. Um, but, you know, this person, I believe they do have a regret here. Mm -hmm. Somebody does, right? Because somebody knows who their real uh, life purpose is. Yeah, they do. Let's use this other deck. I don't want to use this deck right now. Let's see. Where is that deck? Mm -hmm. Put that my favorite death. No, I don't. So let's continue here. <laughs> let's see what we have for. Oh, for Capricorn. Yeah. So let's see your per. Let's see what we have. And you are fearing uh, Capricorn. You're definitely fearing this Eight of Wands. Like it's not going to happen for you, right? And in your challenge is the Page of Cups. This could be a new start. This can talk about also uh, your challenge. Maybe you want to apologize to somebody here. You might, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see what that's about. Let's go ahead and use another deck. I don't want to use that deck today. I mean, not, on, not for your person. Let's see what we have. We're going to use a totally different deck here. We are. And uh, let's see what we have. You have the Nine of Wands here. You feel threatened by this. You feel threatened you're not going to have this adventure with somebody. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You could have been in the past just really curious about this person. Maybe it doesn't look like you're with them. Maybe if they are growing. Maybe if they are going through a spiritual awakening here about their life. Definitely. About maybe even their life purpose. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for... Capricorn's person. We have the mother here. Mm -hmm. What's on their mind, Capricorn, is communication. That's what's on their mind here. So what else we have? Yeah. So we have the Thunder Drum card here. Somebody wants to speak their truth. Or this person. Not just somebody, right? And their challenge is going to be the disciple and the master and this is like learning this is kind of like well I'm, I've learned this so far and there's still a couple, a couple things I need to figure out uh, this person looks like they have kind of gone through an awakening it does kind of look like that maybe they want to understand something here let's see what else they have Capricorn's person let's see what they are wanting here and they have, they're carrying a burden they want to let this burden go mm -hmm, they do so your person, what's on their mind, I believe, is bringing you news, Capricorn. Uh, we have this mediator. I feel like that's his name here. And here he is walking down. He looks like Z Zeus, uh, the messenger of the gods. He's got his wings right on his hat here, or his helmet, I should say. Uh, and your person's carrying a major burden here. I feel like partial, part of the reason they are carrying this burden is... I believe here maybe that they were like not trusting their intuition here. Uh, I feel like this person is trying to use their intuition now, like trust themselves. It could be that simple. Trust what I want in my life. Trust what I feel like I deserve, right? Uh, I feel like they are, but this I feel like this has also been burdening to this person. Uh, I feel like they're probably going through an awakening. Here they have uh, the Divine Feminine over here, and the Garden of Insights is showing up over here. This talks about, like, trusting your insights, right? But, like, just being very impartial. 
Like, don't think about anything except really like what you want or what you should change in your life, something like that. Uh, don't let the financial or the, you know, your maybe your financial stability affect this decision or, you know, or your thoughts or your choices. Yeah, it doesn't always have to be a decision here, but, you know, we see regret, and this is regret by somebody's actions, right? Uh, and it takes a decision before it takes anybody to uh, take action unless somebody's, you know, out of their mind, right? And they're not making decisions, they're just kind of... What do you call that? An uh, autopilot kind of, but on, but out of their mind, like in a way where, whatever they do, they don't, you know, it's possible where they kind of like, why did I do that? Possibly here, but somebody, this person has regret, and let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. We have the nine of wands. I feel like you're trying to keep some type of a uh, a threat out. You, yeah, you feel threatened by somebody, maybe by another union. We have the dissenter or the crusader here. And this is in your current energy here. Mm -hmm. I feel like what you are doing is you are curious to see if your person could be coming to you. And maybe they are wanting to dissent, like leave another situation that they don't no longer kind of believe in or agree with. I mean, that's what he's doing there, right? The crusader. He didn't, he didn't believe in, I believe, what the Catholic Church was telling him. Uh... I feel like they were always the biggest church. I feel like they were, but, you know, I don't know all the history exactly. But uh, this is definitely most likely the crusader. could be during the crusades. Uh, but that could be a religious war, too. I think it is. Mm -hmm. So let's see here, Capricorn. I feel like you feel kind of, you might feel threatened by somebody's beliefs. You could. Like, well, they believe it has to be this way and... You could be thinking, it doesn't always have to be like that, right? It could be, uh, enlighten yourself right here. Enlightenment and perception. Wake up. Right? Wake up here. I feel like you want this person to kind of trust their intuition and kind of maybe leave another path, another situation behind here. It's possible here. And what's on your mind is the fool. We have the three of swords. There could be a third par party here. There could, uh... It's possible. It is. But also here we have, you know, what's on your mind here. This could be, this kind of broke your heart. I feel like it did on some level here. And in the past, let's see, you have the Page of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I feel like you were confused if you were going to have uh, a new path with this person. Yeah, I also, yeah. Let's see. What, and in your challenge, Page of Cups, the Hermit card, uh, maybe somebody is, you know, this can talk about trying to enlighten yourself for sure, right? This could be and like soul searching we have the the chariot card here this is what you want you want movement you want this person i believe to probably accept your cup here you could be unhappy here i feel like you are uh definitely wanting movement with this person and this is the eight of wands and the eight of pentacles reversed this is what you're fearing you're fearing change that this person maybe is no longer invested in you or they won't make an effort or it also you could be fearing here change because somebody might be worried about money with this eight of pentacles reversed maybe this is your person possibly they have uh the mother here this talks about uh trusting your divine feminine energy here like trusting your intuition here and somebody here uh, is, I feel like is doing that with enlightenment and perception. Let's see what else we have. We have the Knight of Wands. And this could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It could. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have for your person. And they have the Hanged Man. Yeah, they do. This person is, I feel like, yeah, they are enlightening themselves. They are. Because that's what the mother is. This is Cancerian insight and trusting your intuition, right? And like, yeah. And over here, uh, they have another card that can talk about spiritual, about your intuition here. Or this person maybe is fearing here. It looks like they are uh, trying to trust their intuition. Trying to perceive this in a, in a way. I just feel like it looks like this person probably wants to come be with you, but they are... They're stuck here, but 
they could be in limbo here, but I do believe this person is definitely trying to enlighten themselves. Or they have done that in the past. They could have. Yeah, definitely. We have the Five of Cups, and we have uh, this card. It talks about, this is their current uh, energy here. This card, this person could be grieving a situation. Somebody could really be on their case here. This is character assassination with this card. Your person, not somebody, could be grieving here, right? Uh, this can talk about them having regret. Yeah, because we have this card. They have regret. It's possible they have regret right here. Maybe people are gossiping about your person. The Eight of Cups. Wow, see, this person wants to leave somebody. They could be leaving somebody right here, and somebody could be kind of really uh, harassing them or really giving them a hard time about this. Maybe criticizing. It could be gossip. Maybe there's gossip going on. They could have, it's possible this person regrets walking away from you too. It could be. Yeah. I feel like they have regret here. I also feel like this person is learning the truth that you are their life purpose. We see it right here with the truth and the life purpose card here. Let's see. And, you know, it's possible this person is regretting some type of news that they brought you. Or maybe news you brought them. Let's see what they have. They have, and we have the Six of Swords. This is what's on their mind here. This is leaving. This is about communication and leaving. Six of Swords. This person might be afraid to contact you, maybe. Uh, but I feel like what's on their mind is some type of communication and leaving. We have the Magician reversed. Mm hmm. It's possible in this reading that somebody told something, somebody something here. Like, somebody told something about, about you or about them or... Let's see what else we have for your person. The, the ailing king yeah this person that you are that you love or you're with or you want Capricorn uh, you know or the person you're not with yeah whoever this person is uh, is the ailing king here and this person this means that they are unhappy in their life yeah and that's what I've been saying I feel like this person knows that you are their life purpose yeah I feel like they figured that out mm-hmm They might not have a lot of courage here. They have the magician reversed. They might not feel empowered. Somebody could be talking about them if they are walking away from somebody. They could regret leaving you. But it looks like somebody might be on their case. Like somebody could be like possibly, you know, criticizing them maybe or gossip or, yeah, your person here in, uh, in the, what's on their mind here, this person wants to bring some type of communication. I feel like they are trying to figure out if they're going to leave somebody here. Yeah, they are. I'm pretty sure. And they could, maybe they are with somebody who is like, always on their case or something like that. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to leave somebody right here. Yeah. And we have the magician reversed with the ailing king. This person could be really kind of unempowered at this moment here. It's possible here. I feel like they are all in their, like, all in their intuition right now. I feel like they are. I feel like they woke up to that and here they are questioning their life the two faces of Eve yeah this person is trying to figure out if they're going to walk away from somebody here that's what they're trying to figure out because that's what Eve was trying to do what life do I want 
right? Do I want to be with Capricorn? Or do I want to be with, you know, Spongebob? Whoever it is, Capricorn, all right? Oh, no, that can't be because Spongebob's going to... Uh, Spongebob's, you know, running for president. Yeah, for sure. He might do a better job, yeah. So over here in the challenge, Capricorn, is, uh, for your person, is the master and the disciple. Let's get a card. They have... Uh, this card about healing or this can be like receiving the light in intuition here I feel like this person here this is their challenge this is about them learning to trust their intuition that's really what this is about OMG and that's their challenge and this is what they need to do I feel like this person just knows that you're their life purpose they love you and they want to show up but they're either worried about somebody here or their money or just something here mm-hmm uh, this card over here can talk about somebody who kind of needs to make a decision, but it's not based on any financial gain or, you know, your level of stability. It's just based on your intuition or who you love or where you really want to be, things like that. And here they are carrying a major burden and depressed. Mm-hmm. Wow. They could maybe be hoping somebody else won't be depressed. Mm -hmm. And here's the symbol on here. And this is the couple that walks together. They like pray together. They, have, you know, they see things spiritually the same. They're completely on the same page. This can be a soulmate right here. This person, I feel like, knows you are a soulmate here. Yeah, they know that. We have that card, too. They're a soulmate. I think it was a hard lesson for this person to wake up to their intuition. Like, I feel like this was like a hard awakening for this person. Like when some people go through a, a midlife crisis, it can be really hard. It can. Let's see what else we especially for men. Um, and that is just true. Men and women are not the same. And anybody who tells you that is, you know, uh, biologically incorrect for sure. All right. <laughs> so, you know, it's that they are not the same, right? And so, uh men have a harder time with change. This is just how it is. Women have a harder time, you know, lifting a couch and things like that, right? So, we all have our kind of uh we all have our gifts and talents. And in your person's fear and the doubt is the affliction card. This person thinks that their money or their financial stability is holding them back. Because here's the man stuck on the path and he has a broken leg and he has to walk this really long path and you know and he's out in the middle of nowhere all by himself mm -hmm. I feel like this person and they are fearing that they could even be fearing that like well I'm gonna let this money kind of this Garden of Insights talks about like it can talk about trusting your intuition but getting away from the the financial it that can be one of the meanings getting away from don't make your decisions based on financial gain or or your stability or status, right? And here she is uh, trying to do that. She's away from the mansion. She's way over here planting, right? Trying to trust her gardenly insights, right? Kind of. <laughs> and then we have, you know, the affliction card. I just looks like this person is afraid that they can't make this decision, although they know you are a soulmate. That's kind of how this reading looks. <clears throat> yeah, that's why they're depressed over here. They know you're a soulmate. Here's the symbol on. These people are walking together. This is very burdening for this person to understand here that you are their soulmate because they're not with you. And here they have regret. Well, do they have enough to change their life? Or And the world card, this is what they're afraid of here. So here's the naked couple again in your reading here. <clears throat> There's a lot of sensuality here. We know that because we have this card. Uh, who's that other card at? I just feel like there is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure here there's a lot of sensuality here. Uh, well, they know definitely that you are their soulmate, so I would hope so that there's some, right? So here they are in their fear here or their doubt, feeling like they're not going to have this world with you, this major fulfillment of their wish. Here's the two people naked, hugging each other like, at last, honey, we're together, right? And this talks about closing out a cycle. It can, in order to have a new cycle. This person, it looks like they're afraid. Uh, and they look like they are in doubts because they want their financial stability here. Because that's how it looks here. And that this is slowing them down uh, in their whole 
kind of take on this or, you know, assessment of the situation. We're going to end this reading and go to the extended. Uh, and we're going to see how they feel about you, their environment, how they are seeing the situation, what they might want to say to you, Capricorn, any external influences, right, the underlying energies, and what you don't know about them, what's hidden, right? And, of course, their true intentions. Let's see what we have for Capricorn's person. We're going to start the Tree of Life Oracle here. Uh, we are, let's see what we have for Capricorn's person here. And the Pride card. This person has, uh, they're having a headache right now, I believe, either with a decision or uh, about what to say to somebody. The actor, that's kind of how it looks right now. Let's see what they have possibly in the past. Pandora's box. So they open the box to the past. That's probably your person. Six of Cups person, right? And we have, what's on their mind is the servant, the witness. This talks about, the witness talks about owning up to what you believe is, is true, right? And we have the truth here. The perception card next to the truth card, yeah. Uh, the test, and let's see what they could maybe want. The thirst card, this person's always thirsting for you, Capricorn, yeah. And the Observer. We're going to finish this out uh, and complete this. This needs to be clarified and do the other spread, as I mentioned. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. All the extensions are super affordable, and the extended, the link is below.